Okay, this is an absolutely ridiculous picture put out by the guys over at Clutch Sports on X earlier in the day. Uh, they had a caption that said, Who's going to stop this trio? I'll tell you who's going to stop this trio, Clutch Sports. Basically, everybody in the Western Conference that would be in the playoffs against a deteriorating Kevin Durant, who, by the way, is the most passive-aggressive NBA player in the league today. I'm thinking the NBA should actually have a 14th award next season for the most passive-aggressive NBA player. I think Kevin Durant would be the inaugural winner of that award. All right. Uh, we are going to get straight to the point, and tonight's point is really all about Hey, Los Angeles Laker fans, what do we do now? Now, if you are a Los Angeles Laker fan and you just experienced what you experienced last night against the Denver Nuggets, the fallout from that is, quite frankly, pretty damn predictable. I suspect Darvin Ham is going to be looking for a job somewhere as an assistant coach in the NBA next season. I also suspect that a large group of current Los Angeles Lakers will no longer be Los Angeles Lakers. Like, do any of you think Gabe Vincent is coming back? They will look to unload uh, probably six or seven contracts during the offseason, you can expect a new head coach and at least uh, six or seven new players on this Los Angeles Laker team at the start of next season. Ultimately, the Los Angeles Lakers have to figure out how they can actually climb Mount Jokic and actually take him down, which is clearly something they haven't been able to do. Look, I watch every Los Angeles Laker game. I've seen plenty of Denver Nuggets games over the past 15 years. And I can tell you confidently that Jokic, even in the games where he doesn't look like he's absolutely performing at a super high level, sort of like the game last night, where I think he only scored like 20 points, but he still had a triple double on the night. He is an absolutely fantastic basketball player. Then you mix in, of course, the clutchness of Jamal Murray. I don't know, when was the last time you actually saw a basketball player in a seven game series, and in this particular series only won five games, actually have two game winning shots? Jamal Murray is totally clutch. You've got the clutch Jamal Murray, and of course the super great slash clutch uh, Jokic, and then you sprinkle in a pissed off Michael Porter Jr., who's dealing with all of that personal stuff, who seems just totally honed in during these particular basketball games that I've seen so far of him in the playoffs. And you sprinkle in all of the other players that this Denver Nuggets team has, which, quite frankly, they really have the best surrounding cast of characters. Uh, to go along with Jokic. The Lakers and Laker fans have to actually accept the fact that they're not actually going to take down the Denver Nuggets in a seven-game series without actually making a bunch of significant changes. And I can confidently tell you right now, adding Kevin Durant and his 50 million dollar a year salary and his passive aggressiveness with whoever the head coach and coaching staff will be will not work out for the Los Angeles Lakers. Look, I don't think KD and LeBron and AD could coexist anyways. The Lakers are certainly going to have to go out and get uh, at least two more players that can actually deliver around 20 points a night because LeBron James, as good as he played this year, it is not fair to expect him to actually deliver exactly what he did this year during the regular season again next year. Look, I know he's an incredible specimen 
of a human being who's still playing at such a high level in the most competitive basketball league in the world, but still you have to uh, cut back his minutes and um, and try to keep him healthy uh, throughout a regular season. Plus, he's going to be coming off of the Olympics, which means you're going to be getting a tired LeBron James at the start of the NBA season. Rob Palenka and the Los Angeles uh, Lakers uh, coaching um, staff and ownership group are going to actually have to figure out who the new head coach is going to be. They need to do that sooner than later. I would be shocked if Darvin Ham was still the head coach of this Los Angeles Laker team seven days from now. I think that's how fast the Lakers are going to move. In terms of... Who is that other, who are those other two players that the Lakers could actually bring in? Look, that's a different podcast for a different night. But clearly, to get straight to the point, you've got to move on from the coach and then you've got to move off of a wide range of players that you currently have on your roster. I mean, just think about who. The Los Angeles uh, Lakers will probably get, uh, will probably dump during the offseason. Now, we talked about Gabe Vincent, and I'm sure he will be gone. Uh, I think Cam Reddish will be gone. You can expect Torian Prince uh, to be gone as well. Max Christie, Christian Wood, and of course, the Spencer Dinwiddie return to Los Angeles didn't really pan out did it look i'm not saying all of those players are going to be gone but they probably should be and the big player uh that is going to be gone most certainly is of course d lo look uh, d lo is uh is an interesting p- character isn't he look if d is going to be a superstar in the nba that would have happened by now what you get from D'Lo is uh, a lot of really good basketball, and then some days you get really bad basketball, and then some days you get absolutely horrific basketball where D'Lo doesn't score any points but gets captured on television during a playoff game, a game in which the Los Angeles Lakers are losing, eating a sandwich on the bench. Uh, you just can't have that sort of thing actually happen all right uh north america that is it for today's underrated hey if you haven't checked out our big website check it out underrated.media sign up for our kick-ass uh sports newsletter as well and uh i really appreciate you tuning in uh, of course like and um Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done son. Done done that already. Jeez. Anyways, for the underrated, I am Dave DeBaugh, clearly having trouble speaking at the end of the night. Wishing you all a tremendous rest of your sports viewing day. To the guitar rips we go. Yeah.